<clears throat> so today we're going to talk about uh, the distance between two points or the length of a line segment. Okay, I just want to show you the reason why those two are exactly the same thing. It doesn't really matter which one we talk about. It's because if I have a point here and a point here, right? So let's say this is the point X and this is a point Y, right? Well, the distance from here to here, right, is exactly the same as the length of the line segment from X to Y, right? So when we say the distance between two points is the same as the length of a line segment, okay? So today's lesson is interchangeable between those two. <clears throat> so let's figure out what the, what the distance is between point A and point B, okay? Well, on a grid, the nice thing is, is that we can always take, um, we can always take distances and turn them into right angle triangles, right? So this point A to B is actually going to come down to just using Pythagorean theorem, right? So let's look at what's going on. So this horizontal distance here is just one, two, three, four, right? The vertical distance here is just one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So that means that we can figure this out just by doing c squared is a squared plus b squared, right? So that means that c squared is 16 plus 36, which is 52, right? So that means that c is the square root of 52, okay? And to figure out the square root of 52, we just pull out our calculator let me say 52 square root. All right, so the answer is 7.21 to two decimal places, right? So C is 7.21, okay? Now, I just want to point out something, right? If we don't have a grid, notice that this horizontal distance, right? Because we know that X coordinates control our horizontal distance. So notice that this is, the X coordinate is negative two, and the X coordinate here is two. Right? So the distance between those two is from negative two to two is four. Well, that's, so this four comes from the fact that it's two minus negative two. All right? Now let's look at the vertical distance. We know that Y coordinates are responsible for our vertical distances. So we'll do five minus negative one, which is six. Right? So our horizontal distance, we can get by subtracting the two x coordinates, negative two and two. Our vertical distance, we can get by subtracting the two y coordinates, negative one and five. Okay? So now, let's look at in general, okay? If I want to figure out the distance from A to B, okay? All we have to do is we have to break it down into horizontal distance, vertical distance, right? And realize that the horizontal distance is just x2 minus x1, the difference between the two x coordinates. The vertical distance is y2 minus y1, the difference of the two y coordinates. And that makes, if I want this to be the distance, right, then distance squared is going to be a squared. plus b squared. Right? And now to get rid of that square, I just have to square root everything. So in the end, we come up with this distance formula that says distance is the square root of the difference of the x values squared plus the difference of the y values squared. Okay? And that's the formula that we want to remember. Okay? So that's an important formula that's going to inform our uh, distance. Okay? So let's try uh, again the distance between these two points, right? So remember, same question as we had here, except this time we don't have a graph. Okay? 
So if I write down my formula for distance, it's just x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Yeah. So now let's just fill it in. Now it doesn't matter which I pick to be x2 and y2 and which I pick to be x1 and y1 because I'm squaring them anyway. So the fact that they're negative doesn't matter. Okay. So let's say that b is 0.2, right? And we'll say that a is 0.1. Okay. So then the difference between the x coordinates is going to be negative 2 minus 2 squared plus the difference between the y coordinates is negative 1 minus 5 squared. So that's the square root of negative 4 squared plus negative 6 squared. And we know that negative 4 squared is still just 16. Negative 6 squared is still just 36. So this is the square root of 52, which we remember from our example is about 7.21 units. Okay? So that's how that formula works. Okay? So notice that we can always use Pythagorean theorem if we have a grid, but if we don't have a grid, then we can just remember this formula, plug in our numbers, and get our answer. Okay? So that's that. See you in class.